Hi, Danny. How are you? I'm, I'm so good. Nervous. Okay, the first thing I want to talk about is uh, your work. I heard you're working first time you've worked outside of your, your dad's company, so tell me about that. Yeah, so in March uh, this year, I got a job at Magleby's Restaurant in Springville. Ooh, um, such a good place. Yeah, their food is so good, but... Uh, Cake, too. I started out just as like a busboy cleaning up tables, but now I'm a server. So I actually work in the kitchen and then I bring you your food. I love the people I work with, they're so great. Um, I was really nervous to get a job because I felt like I was gonna have no time to do anything else. Yeah. But it's actually been really nice because I've been able to earn money and work hard and kind of work my way up a little bit. And uh, now I can afford more things. Yeah. And. Uh, I've made a ton of friends along the way. Describe yourself, like your personality, and maybe in that your philosophy. What keeps you going, you know? I've had a lot of amazing examples in my life of people that have just always been so outgoing and, and helpful and, uh, and just so nice to people. And I've always kind of emulated people in my life and tried to be like them a ah. little more. And so I feel like I've kind of taken some things from everyone that I've been close with like and worked it into kind of my own philosophy, which is just like, be nice to everyone honestly just uh, try to include everyone as much as you can and and um, I don't know it's just there's no time to be sad don't just sit around and and do nothing try and always find something to do no matter what it is Wow dude inspiration now can we move on to um, you're on the student government of my what do they call it? Um, alma mater or something? Like my previous school? I don't yeah, know what the word alma is. Alma Alma what? Look so excited to? for student council. <laughs> I've tried to be on a student council since I was in elementary school. Uh -huh. I, uh, I ran in, uh, I went to Brookside and I ran for student council and I didn't make it. Senior year came and I finally decided I was going to go for it this year. And uh, I didn't make it past the first round. But then I realized that they had appointed positions and I think that actually worked out perfectly because the position that I have is is where I wanted to be. Which, and, which is? Uh, I'll be the tech director, which I'm taking your job. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in any other position than the one I've got. You really I'm, like it. I'm so excited. It does feel like it's for you. Yeah, I think I think it'll help me learn more about myself and, and really help me push the boundaries and limits of what I can do. Yeah. And I'm super excited to learn from everyone and just kind of like get myself out there and and make a lot of friends and try to inspire people through that. You just got a camera, you're building a studio in your basement and you kind of love film but you kind of love broadcasting. Let's talk about that. Well yeah, so for the past two years in high school I've taken both uh, video production classes and TV broadcasting. Uh huh. And uh, I love both of them. So I'm building a, a set in my basement to kind of do so some so pep talks excited. like you I'm did. so excited to see I kind of want to keep that going. Um, I think that's a way good idea and so <laughs> that'll be that'll be a lot of fun. I just want to create things that are going to inspire people. I want to, I want people to, I, I really, well I guess, I don't know, I'm kind of lost. I want to document the senior year and, and really get as much memory in film as I can because uh -huh. I think senior year is like one of the most important years in our lives like we're deciding on so many things college um, you know missions families even people get married right out of high school and it's yeah. crazy like we're growing up and I still feel like I'm a sophomore coming right into high school I feel you um, and honestly it just flies by so fast it's so crazy like I, I can't believe that I'm going to be a senior this year and then I'm I'm or done. Believe it, but you know, <laughs> I just want to inspire people and and challenge them to like go out and do something that you're going to remember mm. for the rest of your life. You know, make memories because really that's what life is all about is just having good times and and making the most of what you can. I love that. You're like trying to make people reach out of their comfort zone like they teach you in student council. Exactly. Because it's scary, but something good always comes of it. There's a quote that I heard somewhere that that just reminded me of. That's at some like, point, at some point, and we don't know who said it, but here we go. Yeah, it's like um, if you have twenty to thirty in, or ten, ten to twenty seconds of insane courage, I promise something good will come of it. Um, if something bought a zoo, that's what it's from. Yeah. What is that? Oh, movie? we bought a zoo. We bought a zoo. It's when yeah. he asked that girl to marry him. And I've I've tried to kind of take that in. Uh, myself because I was really nervous especially a lot at uh, leadership conference 
you have to get out of your comfort zone and meet new people, Ooh, which is kind yeah, of scary. Immediately. But I thought about that quote a lot, and it, it means a lot to me because it really is true. Just just be courageous for even five seconds, and something good's going to come of it, you know? Mm. Well, let's go cop in your truck, man. All right. Sweet. Thanks for letting us interview you. Thank you. And uh, you take care.